What about this? Pretty decent, huh? It's the space suit I wear in the show we're shooting next week. I guess so. <laughs> if you like all this Hollywood stuff. Oh, wait, look at this. A tiny silver stone. Now this is cute. <laughs> it's like the real thing. Better. It doesn't talk. Hey! I found a place where all the weird stuff is. Dr. Zoltan's death chamber in the Lemurian pod thingy. That, my boy, is Cubby's work. Hey, Cubby. Hey, kid, what's quaking, huh? Cubby handles all of the special effects and gadgets for the show. These are my friends, Kayla. Hello. Hi. And JB. Hey, hey what's up? Nice to meet you. So, uh, Kayla, she wasn't impressed with the regular stuff, so you're done with, you know, Project X. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, it's just a couple of halogen spots on a modified jet propulsion system encased in this lightweight polysynthetic housing. Nothing to write home about. Press the red button. The best stuff always happens when you press the red button. Go ahead, dude. Get down. <laughs> Whoa! It's like sound check at an alien rock concert, huh? <laughs> all right. Now I'm impressed. Uh, all right. Listen, dudes. I uh, I gotta run. I'm gonna fly to LA. I'm making a bit on the 16-foot styrofoam tiki. For the show? No, oh, no, it's for me. I'm doing a tribute to the Easter Island, dude. It's gonna be gigantic, you know? It's gonna involve gelatin. I can't get into it anyway. I gotta run, dudes. Peace and a ball of hair grease. It's a truce and a two of the moose, dude. That spaceship is cool. That guy is cool. Kinda cute, too. Yeah, well, watch this. You gonna fly it? Jet, what are you doing? Chill. Why do you land this thing perfect? <laughs> That's me, Jet Jackson. On my TV show, I play the ultimate action hero, Silverstone. Yeah! Jet! <laughs> Being a TV star is cool, but to tell you the truth, I miss being a regular kid. So I convinced the network to move the show back to my hometown in North Carolina. Now I can hang with my friends. I spend a lot more time with my family and still get to see my mom online from LA. Hey, I'm just trying to live my life as a regular kid, but people still think of me as the famous Jed Jackson. Yep, she's on good and tight. That didn't take very long now, did it? You have a nice day now. Oh my god. Ah! Ow! 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 It's on its way to China. Hold on, I, I think I finally got it. Hold on. Yeah, I think I... Told you I could control it. You better control it back to the studio before anybody comes. Alien! I'm coming, Pete! Booker! What's he doing here? Alien! We mean you no harm! Hello, Alien. Hello. Sounds like he's looking for a flying saucer. Man. Come on. If it gets back to Cubby, I was fooling around with the spaceship. I'm in deep. Wait, just a minute. This is gonna be great. Are you trying to communicate with me? <laughs> He's going for it. I believe it. 
have mercy. You are speaking to me. Okay, okay, um, um, what are you trying to say? Uh, are you about to abduct me? <laughs> because I saw something like that on TV once. <laughs> Aliens had long needles and, and, and probes. Spielberg couldn't have done it any better. Bro. We gotta catch Booker before he leaves. Fuck. The poor man's terrified. Shouldn't we tell him it's just a joke? We'll tell him later. First, I gotta fly this thing back to the set before anybody realizes it's gone. No, I'm not giving a bunch of rich investors a police escort, and that's final. Wood, the diplomats. Yeah, diplomats with big fat wallets, right? <laughs> oh, be reasonable, Wood. Just meet him at the town line. Turn on the lights, turn on the siren, and lead that limousine right into town. Huh? No. I'm only asking for a few minutes out of your day. I mean, how busy you plan on being tomorrow? I mean, really. I don't know, Mayor Beale. What, you want me to check my calendar, see if I have any uh, traffic accidents or bank robbery scheduled? I just want these men to have a favorable impression of our town, that's all. And there it was. What? A big, shiny, kind of saucer-like oh, spaceship oh, oh, from a galaxy oh, far, far away. And it was flying real high and real fast. A warp factor eight, easy. And it had all kinds of lights on it and beams and a disintegration ray. Now, 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 hold on. Now, I don't rightly know whether they're good or evil. Seems to me that they're on a mission to seek out new lives and new civilizations. And they just wanted me for, you know, some kind of alien experimentation. Or, or perhaps to use my body to, to, to model for cyborgs that will eventually take over the planet Earth. Booker, what's going on? Sir, I was almost abducted by creatures from another planet. Wilston invaded? Deputy Booker spots saucer in local woods. Man, I never made the front page before. You still haven't. Booker did. Yeah, but we had a lot to do with it. Keep that on the down low, man. Fine. We're gonna tell Booker what we did, right? We don't have to. In a couple of days, this whole thing will blow over. Boy, don't you know storms you expect to blow over always drop the most rain. Now, it's right out there in the woods, just past the town line, okay? You won't regret the trip. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The truth is waiting for you out by the town line. Come on, let's go. Hey, Mr. Mayor. You gonna go out to the alien site? Uh, uh, no. No, I, I'm not going out to the alien site. Because there is no alien site. You hear this, Boku? I'm expecting three very important diplomats coming into town this morning. And I promised them that Wilstead is one of the most forward-thinking, reasonable towns there is in the good old U.S. of A. Well, yes, sir, I believe you can say that. Oh, you do? Oh, well, right now it's the only spot I know of that's virtually shut itself down because some harebrained deputies running around telling people he's seen little green men. <laughs> well, well, no, no, sir. I haven't actually seen the aliens, so I can't confirm their greenness at this time, but, but I did actually, you know, communicate with the ship. Oh, the ship. It spoke English, did it, huh? Well, no, sir. It spoke in more of a, a sound language. I don't care if it had a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. As of this minute, you didn't see anything. Now, do you understand me, Booker? Wouldn't that be lying, sir? I don't care if you call it snowboarding, son. Just clear them out. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Now, this little fiasco of yours in any way interferes with my land deal. I, I mean, <laughs> this important diplomatical dialogue. I swear, I'm going to make you wish you were never born. <laughs> Come on, Booker. Uh, we've got to secure that uh, alien site before everyone in town is tromped all over looking for souvenirs. Yes, sir. Say we're way past bad. We're into disastrous. Okay, everybody. Now I know you want to look around, but this is now officially a police investigation. No! Oh, great. Now we're felons. So Squat. until we get to the bottom of this, I'm gonna have to ask you all to head on home. What 
in the world is going on. We love aliens. That peanut brain deputy. Of all the knuckle-headed lunatic. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! They're here! Ah, they're here! Go, go, go back! Go back! They're here! They're, they're here! Go, they're here! What's that saying? I don't know. I think he's saying they're here. They're here! They're here! They're here! They're here! They're here! They're here! You, you're fired. Never gonna play another practical joke as long as I live. No more ding dong ditch. No more cow tipping. No more wedgies. It's gonna be hard to give up wedgies. We have to tell the sheriff what happened. If we can show everybody that it was just a joke, maybe the mayor won't fire Booker. And that's what Jet went home to do. Isn't there a way we could do this that doesn't involve parents or punishment? No, Jet's right. This has gotten out of hand, and he's trying enough to handle it with maturity. Oh, hey, Dad. Yeah, I'm glad you're home. Really? And why is that? Man, it's because you live here, you know? And it's, it's just nice to have you around. You just... Maybe you should sit down. Oh, no, I think I'll stand. Um, okay, well, first, I just want to say I love you, Dad. And, and I never wanted anything bad to happen. How about we just cut to the chase? You dropped this in the woods. Looks like uh, next week's script. So what was that thing? A problem show. Mm-hmm. And you thought you'd play a joke on Booker. It didn't start out that way. I took JB and Kayla out to the set, and I was messing around with Cubby Saucer, and things just got out of hand. And I'm sorry. Yeah, well, so am I. A joke. I'm losing my job over a practical joke. Yeah, pretty dumb joke. We came out to tell you how sorry we were. About everything. Okay. I guess that's partly my fault anyway. You know, seeing that thing made me feel real scared, but made me feel kind of special too. You know, front page of the Willstead Star Telegraph. People all over town wanting to take my picture. Talk to me. For a minute there, I guess I kind of felt like you, huh? Probably would have been better if I hadn't blabbed it all over town, though. And I'll bring my uniform by when, when I can get it cleaned and pressed. It's been a real pleasure working under you, sir, and serving the town of Willstead. And I hope that I can count on you for a recommendation when I apply for the job of night security over at Tammy's Tasty Freaks. Now, Tammy, she's been trying to get me to work there for some time now, ever since I drew that short straw and wound up taking her wall-eyed daughter, Tamet, to the prom. Uh, she wants to spark a romance, but me, I figure, you know, keep it strictly business so I can get the job based on my merits, not on my looks. But book, book, book a stop. Now put that badge back on and keep your uniform. I don't want you to quit. And I've already set up a meeting to meet with the mayor to try to change his mind. No, sir. I can't do that. Deputy Murray. That's an order. Yeah. 
Ow! We gotta find a way to get Booker another job. A better job. You could give him a job on your show. How can I do that? Well, you're a star. Pull some strings, call in some favors, suck up to your producer. Yeah, right. And what would Booker do? He could be an actor like you. Or, or a writer. Hello? Booker writes parking tickets, not scripts. Well, then he could be a director. All he'd have to do is yell a lot. Action! Cut! Nuts? Yes, you are. Booker loves being a deputy. If only we could get the mayor to change his mind. We could kidnap him and lock him in a chamber with only enough oxygen for 24 hours, and if he didn't change his mind before time was up, uh, his lungs would implode and he'd choke on his own pile. Boy, if it was rain and brains, you wouldn't get wet. You haven't given Booker a chance. You owe him that, at least. I don't owe him anything. The last thing I want is that hillbilly standing up in council ranting on about men from Mars. Now, come on, Wood. You always were a nasty kid. Excuse me, ma'am. Well, it ain't like it was a real saucer. Miss Coretta, please. Please what? You heard them kids. What? <laughs> we, 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 don't, we, we don't need to bother the mayor about that. Yeah, well, I believe in you, good folk. Too bad about Booker, but I don't imagine it's going to be too difficult to replace. Sheriff, Coretta. That's Ms. Coretta to you, Hall. Huh? My own grandson calls me Ms. Coretta. Just because you're the mayor don't mean you can be all high-handed with me. I beg your pardon, Ms. Coretta. I delivered 200 babies in my time, and you are the only one I regret. Why didn't you tell him that that blind thing was a part of Jet's show? The less we tell that man, the better. Hey, Jet. Booker. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, a little nervous, I guess. Council's gonna meet after lunch. Should've had this all figured out by four or five. Mm-hmm. Deputy Mary, I presume. Oh, uh, yeah. I uh, thought I'd come out and maybe take a look at that spaceship of yours. <laughs> well, here it is, dude. The prop that ate Wilstead, North Carolina. Boy. Oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry it caused you so much trouble, dude. It, uh, it ain't very big, is it? Must look kind of silly thinking I was real. I hope not. Man, I, I work my tail off to make these things look real. That is my job, man. You know, sure, she's some little plastic thingy, right? Man, with the right lights, the right sound, did it fool anybody. That's it. That's it! I need you to do me a favor. First, you, you steal my spaceship, and now you're asking for favors? Yeah. Mr. Mayor, uh, I just, I just want to work. You may as well take off that uniform and hand in your badge. It's too late, Booker. Don't, don't I get a chance to speak on my own behalf, sir? Trust me, son. I presented the matter in as far away as I know how, but council agrees with me. You're not fit to serve the city. Yes, sir. What the devil is that? Let them rip. They're here. We're being invaded. Help me, Booker. Booker, save me. Save me, Booker. Take me instead. These are good people. And? Help me, Booker. Booker, save me. 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 Well, sir, it sure looks like the real thing. Uh, is this from your TV show? Yep, it's what Booker saw that day in the field. We just wanted to play a joke on him. Well, I'm not surprised he believed it. Mm-hmm. Cubby made it. He's the best. 
Of all the outrageous stunts. Uh, it looked like it had you fooled, Mr. Mayor. Me? Our trip, that's all. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, it's just a little, uh, UFO demonstration, Sheriff. I hope it's not illegal to scare the mayor. Mayor? Scared? No, couldn't be. Not after... Not after firing Booker for the exact same thing. <clears throat> Maybe we should rethink Booker's termination. Right. All those in favor of restoring Officer Murray, say aye! 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 All right then, aye. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you, Thank you, Barry. Yeah! That's great, man. That's great. Whoa, this is intense. What? Next week I go head to head with a 20 foot shark. No way! You'll get eaten alive. Not a real shark, man. Cubby's building a remote control model, like in Jaws. Do you realize? Don't go there. But if we could get it into the pool at school. I just said don't go there. Jed, it'd be great. We'd be legends. The prank to top all pranks. Ah!